हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अजोर कोबोनेटिस सर्विस ए के एस इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द कंटेनर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डोकर कोबोनेटिस एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस इन बोथ सो लेट्स मूव टू मैनेज द कंटेनर वी हैव टू पॉपुलर टूल्स एंड प्लेटफॉर्म्स वन इज द डोकर एंड वन इज द Kubernetes. So, what is Docker? Docker is a popular runtime environment used to create and build software inside containers. So, if you want to deploy some application inside the container, so we need we need a tool that is called Docker. Docker will packaging it. Docker will create the image. Docker will use that image and unzip the package inside the container and will run it so docker use the docker images to deploy containerized applications or software in multiple environments multiple environment means it could be a linux machine it could be a windows operating system but suppose you have multiple containers in the production environment if you are familiar with the microservices architecture so each microservice are running inside the container so that could be a very complex scenario where we need some technique where we can manage all these containers inside the cluster so kubernetes can do this kind of orchestration where it can manage all these containers kubernetes can deploy the application in container kubernetes has inbuilt database where it can manage all these containers using the apis using the kubelet programs so let's try to understand what is kubernetes suppose you have containers inside the ship in particular section we have container and ship is inside the sea so if you consider sea is a cluster ship is a virtual machine or a node and this section is the pod and inside this section we have boxes these are the containers so in the term of kubernetes so inside the cluster if you want to see the one node you can understand what is pod what is container and definitely inside the container we have the applications here you can see two containers so two applications are running inside the containers now this could be a now this node could be a physical server this could be a virtual machine if you see this scenario here in this server we have two virtual machines having the different operating system one is the window operating system one is the linux operating systems so we can see different ports are there in each port we have multiple containers and in each container we have the applications so similarly we can have multiple nodes multiple ships in, in the sea like a cluster sea is like a cluster we have multiple ships inside the sea you can consider ship as a node so you can see so many nodes are there to manage all these nodes all this container all these ports inside the cluster we need a technology that is called kubernetes kubernetes has its own program using the api using the kubelet kubernet manages to all these containers and nodes inside the cluster so i hope that is clear now so now the question is docker will not work for multiple containers your answer should be yes docker can do there are existing and orchestration technologies similar to kubernetes developed by the docker called docker swarm but in this video we will discuss about the kubernetes only so let's try to understand in more detail what is kubernetes why we need kubernetes as we saw in that example we need to manage multiple containers for below activities we need kubernetes like container communication because we need some technology where we can communicate to the container 
for container deployment for container management to enable auto scaling so for all these activities we need kubernetes so if you see the definition kubernetes is a portable extensible open source platform for managing containerized workloads and services that facilitates both declarative configuration and automation it has a large rapidly growing ecosystem kubernetes lets you orchestrate a cluster of virtual machine and schedule container to run on those virtual machine based on their available compute resources and the resources requirement for each container so that is the definition of the kubernetes so if you talk about the kubernetes so you try to pronounce it in different manner like some people say it kubernetes some people say kubernetes some people say kubernetes some people say kubernetes so i can say you can pronounce it kubernetes 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 all these terms are okay most of people pronounce it kubernetes or if you want to pronounce it in simple manner between the k and s we have eight character 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if you remove to eight characters you can see k and s only instead of eight character i will put it so now i can say it cats you can pronounce it cats so many people called it cats container pod what is pod pod represents a set of running containers on your cluster if you see this is the pod inside pod we have multiple containers so these are the running containers inside the pod so now i can put this pod inside the node node could be a machine physical machine or uh, it could be a virtual machine so now here you can see this is the kubernet node inside the kubernet node node first let me explain you what is node you can see worker nodes so worker nodes are the part of the kubernetes clusters which actually execute the containers and applications on them they are set of the worker machine you can say it worker machine so each worker machine in each computer or you can see in each server we have two main components kubelet service and kube proxy service this two main component should be there so this so these are the two main components of the node so in the so inside the node we have two different ports you, you can have multiple ports in, and again in, in each port we have the running containers now i can put this node inside the kubernetes cluster see here this is the kubernetes cluster kubernetes cluster is a set of nodes that run containerized applications so here you can see so many nodes are there so many virtual machine or you can see so many servers are there in each server we have the ports and again in each ports we have the different containers different running containers so that is the way kubernetes having this kind of the scenario we have where we have the multiple nodes and each nodes we have multiple ports and in each ports we have multiple containers so if you see the diagram that is from the kubernetes sites only so here you can see the similar diagram the component of the kubernetes cluster in this cluster we have different nodes inside the nodes we have different ports in each ports you can see kubelet so what is actually kubelet kubelet make the communication between the node and api it manage the ports and containers running inside the node so that is the work of the kubelet and here you can see the k proxy as well k proxy enable the communication between the node and the api 
and what is the kubernetes cluster again you can see kubernetes cluster is a set of the nodes that runs the containerized applications control plane control plane manages the worker nodes and ports inside the cluster here you can see etcd where we have the all the information about the container and ports port related to which nodes all this information are reside in the database etcd i hope now you are much familiar with the kubernetes cluster pod container nodes now in the next video we will discuss about the azure kubernetes service that's all for now i will see you in the next video thank you happy learning